So this is core and hip mobility, um, a little bit more advanced. So if you checked out my last video, this is a step up from it. If you haven't checked it out yet, it's only a few minutes long, definitely go and check it out. We're going to step it up a notch. So let's start out with legs out in front of us, legs straight, spine straight just like before. Use your hands down onto the ground to really help you keep a nice straight spine. First exercise, we're going to draw the knee in towards our chest as tight as we can, again with a straight spine. And this time, we're going to start to kick the leg up as high as you can go and back in and out. Lift the leg up, getting into the hamstrings, pull the knee in, keep the knee in as you kick up and back down. And you're going to do this about 10 times. And it's okay if as you start to straighten out this leg, the knee gets away from you. Um, keep the knee hugging in as tight as you can. Doesn't Leg doesn't need to be straight. I care less about a straight leg and I care more about squeezing the knee in because this is about core and hips, specifically hip flexor. So if you're struggling with stepping forward from a down dog or jump throughs or just finding a deeper core connection, this is gonna help out with that. All right, so the next exercise that we're going to do is internal rotation. So with this internal rotation, it helps with a lot of arm balances like side crow, fallen angel, ekapada kuninasana one, or if you need more stability in the low half of your body when you're coming into twisting adhashandrasana or twisting triangle, this is gonna build a lot of strength in your inner thighs. So again, legs out nice and straight, hands down, belly in, spine straight, lift up a leg as high as you can go, bend the knee in towards your chest, slide it across, try to squeeze it in towards the shoulder while keeping your butt down, kick the leg straight, bend the knee, plant the sole of the foot down to the outside of the straight leg. Now here, for this first round, I'm going to show you with hands. You're going to place your hands down, lean forward, and try to slide up. Sort of like into a sissy squat position. Slide back down, hands down. Squeeze the knee in towards your shoulder as much as possible. While keeping the butt down, straighten out the leg. Straighten it out and back down. So you want to do that five times is plenty, maybe three. I'm going to show you option two, which is a little bit harder. Starting off the same way, straight leg, belly in, spine straight, knee in. Go across, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Kick straight, plant the foot down. Maybe no hands, leaning forward. And this is definitely hard. Well, lift up. Lifting up, slide back down. Hands down to help you, both butt cheeks down. Squeeze the knee in, straighten, all the way back out. <laughs> okay, so that was definitely tough on the hip flexor and the core. Next exercise, last exercise, external rotation. Starting off the same way, leg straight, spine straight. Use your hands to keep your spine straight. Belly in nice and tight, lift up a leg. Knee in as tight as you can go. Externally rotate. Here you can keep your knee bent. There's two ways of doing this. Try to slide it back towards the wrist as tight as you can go. And if you're less about, or if your quad is cramping up, keep the knee bent, draw the heel in, and you're gonna try to come into Janusasana, but set the knee down before the foot and try to do the same thing all the way back around. If you want more of the hip flexor version of this, lift up a leg, knee in, kick the leg straight from here, take it all the way out to the side, as far back as you can go towards the arm, and back up. Whew. Give these a try, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, talk to me, we'll talk about it, let me know your struggles, or that you tried it, I'd love to hear.